Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to delete Excel sheets. So I'm going to show you multiple things in that one, like how to delete specific sheet, how to delete multiple sheet at once, how to delete sheet only that exist. It means how to handle the errors when bot is trying to delete any sheet but that is not exist so i'm going to show you these things and also how to delete sheet and pass the value the sheet name from the parameter and these things i'm going to show you using vba so let me show you here we have this excel file and let's say you are going to work on one project where your requirement is to delete any specific seat or your requirement is to delete multiple seats so one by one I will show you everything in this video watch this video till the end here first I am going to show you how to delete any specific seat once you will start working on any project in the companies you will face this type of scenario sometime you need to delete any seat sometime you are going to delete the seat but that seat doesn't exist so you get any error, error there so i will show you how to handle that error also if that c doesn't exist so first i'm going to show you how to delete one specific seat we are going to first take here one excel application scope that will use that specific excel file now if you are going to use vba to delete that that excel sheet then first you need to take care of that you need to enable the or like trust the that access model so for that you need to take care of one thing open that excel file or any excel go to file click on options click on trust center then click on trust center settings go to macro settings because we are going to work on macro and this is VBA code just make sure that this check box should be checked because we are going to trust access to access to the VBA project object model so I already have this one now click OK so this is not only for one Excel file this is for all if you just open any new Excel file also and you will just set that one that will work everywhere in that excel file right you need to choose that excel file so i'm going to take this sample file because in this one i have four to five excel uh, seats now here we need to write invoke vba so this is activity we are going to use now here we need to use the vba source code file path what is the vba source code file path so this is the file the text file where we are going to write our vba code to delete that sheet so let me show you that so i already have this one created i'm going to show you one by one so this is the code that we need to write let me delete this this is the code that we need to write sub so this is the comment i have already commented if i am using this apostrophe it means this line is commented out now you need to just take care of this part you need to write only this code sub and your method name delete seat you can take anything and then open close bracket then here seats of in the double quotation you can put that specific seat name that you want to delete dot your action so i'm going to delete so i'm going to write here delete so it will delete that specific seat and it will delete from this workbook because we are going to use this workbook so by default it will take this workbook dot seats of summary dot delete right so copy this method name go to this one here there is option that we have main method 
if you'll write see right side in the properties entry method so entry method should be this one because our excel this invoke vba will use this entry method and only it will execute this part once it will go and find that end sub it means it will just stop the execution it will not move ahead it will it will not go and find for other one right now here we need to locate that specific code that we have written so in the desktop i have this delete sheet vba that is in the text document so this is the one that i have so here i have written this code in this notepad and i have selected that one you can pass it through one variable arguments now i'm going to keep it visible so that i can show you here in front of you how it is going to delete that now let me step into so it is going to use this excel file and now we are going to run this one so let me see here now you can see summary excel file that sheet has been deleted now and now it's going to release that so based on this we can delete excel sheet now sometime what happens in some someone's uh, system we get one is uh, error like while deleting any sheet it ask for permission like do you want to delete something so there is a one code that you can write here in the in your code uh, here you can write like application dot display alerts equals to false it means you don't want to display any alerts so you can keep it false right now let me create one more time this summary one summary now second thing i am going to show you that delete sheet dynamically by passing sheet name from parameter okay so for that we have another method that is sheets of sheet name dot delete but now from where we are getting this sheet name this way we are getting from this one so this is the entry method okay and this is the parameter this is sheet name and this sheet name or whatever value will be getting from our um, that um, this invoke vb method that will be passed here and then that will be deleted now let me use now this method so if you want to use this method you want, you have to again enter that method here right now to pass parameter you need to go right side here in the property and there is a one option entry method parameters double click on that click on that and now here we need to pass as a i enumerable object so that will be as a in double quotation and here we can pass our sheet name so let me take here this time details okay so now what will happen this parameter will pass to this parameter this sheet name and this sheet name will be passed to this one and then this will be deleted here right save this and now let me see if we have okay so we have details sheet now step into okay now go to this excel and you can see here details sheet has been deleted now the next thing is i'm going to show you handle error if sheet not exist and bot try to delete so what happens if bot is trying to delete any sheet but that sheet doesn't exist so it will throw an error right so i'm going to show you how to handle that error so it will not throw an error if sheet is not sheet doesn't exist no problem it will not throw an error if that exists it will delete that right so for that we just need to use this one you need to again create other 
sub and then you can put that method name so this is check see it exist now you need to just write one line that is on error resume next it means whenever you will get one error just resume next it means if we are going to delete run this part and while running this part if there is any error then it will resume next it means it will go to next and then it will go to end sub it means it will run further procedure so this is the procedure that we are running so if any error it will just go to end sub so now let me use this one copy this and let me pass here double quotes pass here let me remove this now this is not required now click ok and here now I'm going to so let's say I'm going to take summary two. Uh, so we have details not available let me take details here so I want to delete details I already had but now this is not available so this is deleted but now I'm going to run this again so let's see what is going to happen so copy this paste in this entry method here okay and run this one so it will try to run that one and even if that seat not exists no problem it will not throw an error right now what happens like if we are not going to use this on error resume next if this line this one line if will not use let me show you here we are not going to use and now I'm going to change this seat name here I'm going to delete this one and let me use this method so let's see what's going to happen it will try to find that seat and that didn't exist so it will try to delete that so it will throw an, an error sorry uh, it seems like I have not saved that so let me save again and let me start from here now you will see here it will throw an error after some time ok so you can see here we are getting this error that is subscript out of range so whatever value that we are passing that is not available so that's why out of range if you we'll click on debug it will show that that this seat is not available right this is going to throw an error cancel this close this okay so you will get this type of error so only to fix this type of issue you need to write one line that is on error resume next you can put here also on error resume next and then it will not throw an error it will just skip that part it will ignore that one now the next I'm going to show you that is how to delete multiple excel seats at once in UI path okay so for that we have again one line that is sub delete multiple seats this is the method name again I have created and I'm going to initialize like declare one variable as a variant dim seat names open close bracket as a variant variant is a, uh, a type where we can store all this type of data it's like an object now here we have seat names that we have declared here we are going to create this as a array equals to array of and then we can pass our multiple seats so we have summary and details now let me here let me keep all these things summary and let me take one more and details save this okay so we have these two seats I'm going to delete at once so it will take data from this array and it will delete all this at once so this value will pass here it means two seats will be assigned here now save this go to this one and now uh, let me copy this method name 
pass here run this one so you can see the macro may not be available in this workbook all macro may be disabled okay let me um, see here details macro disabled means uh, let me stop this it seems there is some delete multiple sheets let me run one more time sometime it happens so it is throwing one error that is um, cannot run the macro delete multiple sheet this macro may not be available in this workbook or all macro may be disabled so there are two options either all the macro disabled so let's click on this one okay we have already enabled now the problem is let me see uh, we have this sub delete multiple sheet delete multiple sheet let me save this close this excel and try this time again let me run this step into sometimes like we need to close the excel because i ran multiple time and i didn't close the excel also now you can see here is working fine okay now let's go to this one open that excel file and let's see that's that two seats deleted here that summary and details seats deleted here you can delete multiple sheet at once there is one more option you can delete you can take like this you can paste multiple sheets of delete like that and just you need to change that here so summary now you can take as a this one now this one as a seat one so you can put multiple this line and you can delete multiple sheets instead of storing in this one array you can use multiple line here and you can delete that so there are multiple ways to delete that you can use one of this so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video and if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there and you can learn blue prism from there thank you